Hello guys, how you doing? Today we have a Fuji Xerox Doka Center 6 C4471. The Fuji Xerox 6 C4471, 6 C2271, Doka Center 7 C2273, Doka Center 6 C3371, and Apeos 6 C7771 are all the same on how to dismantle and fix this problem. By watching this video, you can learn how to remove the fuser, how to remove the left hand side paper output, how to remove and replace the paper exit assembly, how to fix the error C47211, how to fix the paper jamming in exit assembly, how to remove the transfer belt, how to fix the cyan and yellow color with white lines. I'm going to test the machine by printing the configuration report. Watch and hear guys. The paper keeps jamming and is stuck in exit assembly. You can hear the grinding noise too. Okay, let's get started to dismantle the machine guys. Open the left hand side cover. Remove the two screws for left hand side paper exit assembly. Remove the cover. Unplug all the harness. You don't have to remove this fuser lock screw, but to make it easier for you, I remove it. Then, remove the fuser assembly, holding the left and right lock to unlock the fuser, then pull it. Follow the arrows to unlock the fuser lock. Remove the four screws for paper exit assembly. Remove the left hand side cover lock.
remove the paper exit harness cover. Then gently remove the left hand side paper exit assembly. Remove the three screws and harness motor for paper exit transport assembly. Remove the paper exit transport cover to access the right hand side screw. Remove the center duplex tray. We can start removing the paper exit transport assembly. That was the broken part guys. The gear was detached because the gear holder was broken. After one week of waiting, I got the brand new part. I'm just comparing the brand new and the old parts. All are the same, but the brand new has additional sensor. Be very careful installing these parts. Otherwise, it's gonna give you a headache. I'm removing the gear. It was detached and fell inside. The belt is here guys. Don't forget to attach the belt after you install the paper transport assembly. There you go. I removed the gear and attaching on the brand new part. Waiting 
If you can't buy the parts by watching this video, you can remove the parts from your old machine and fix your other machine. Okay, I successfully change the paper exit transport and I'm connecting the motor harness. Make sure the paper exit transport assembly is moving sideways properly. I'm starting returning all the parts guys. Watch step by step. Take note guys, if the original parts has no sensor and actuator, please don't connect it to avoid the error 047 to 11. Return the four screws for left hand side paper exit. If you are apprentice technicians or professionals and want to learn more, this video is good for you especially if you are a dealer, MPS or authorized repairer.
then connect all the harness While you are watching, you can visit our website by typing printermastertech.com.au. We are Epson Authorized Service Repairer. If you have a warranty or out of warranty Epson machines that gives you trouble like not scanning, not printing, print quality problems, or any errors, you can email us at printermastertech at gmail.com printermastertech at outlook.com call or send us a text message at 0452-383-524 we also accept any brands like Konica Minolta, Fuji Xerox, Toshiba, Rico, Canon, Sharp, Brother, Lexmark, Zebra, and more This video was recorded last January 4, 2024. After I returned all the parts, the machine was fixed. No more paper job. But wait, there's more. I want you to learn how to fix the print quality problem without changing the parts. Look, no more paper job. That was the sample print quality problem guys. The cyan and yellow color are printing with white lines. I remove the transfer belt and drum. That way, I can easily access the LED print head to clean it.
before you replace the parts. Check first the drums without visible problems like scratches or not cleaning. And clean the LED printhead. Be careful not to wipe the developers. I just wipe the affected LED print head to clean it. After I clean the LED print head, Look, the white lines was disappeared. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned today. You can support my channel by clicking the like and subscribe. See you next time. Take care.